Well, I, uh, I, I cleaned my, my office out or my, my <laughs> station out about two days ago right. and probably took about 100 pounds of junk home. Dennis Anderson, WDIO's highly respected main anchor, has one down-to-earth sense of humor. This chair goes to my home office as soon as I leave here tonight at uh, quarter to 11. <laughs> very nice, very nice. That's nice but, that they do that. Well, you know, it's, you know? It's, it's comfortable. It's got the contour of my bottom half. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Denny, as everyone knows him, is preparing for his final newscast tonight after 42 years at the station and a total of 50 years in broadcasting. So being in this newsroom right here, hours before um, your last broadcast, what's going through your head? Yeah. What are you thinking? Actually, I, I'm quite good with it. I'm, I'm not having a problem. At 67 years old, he's ready to enjoy life outside of a job he's called home for so long. Everybody retires at some point, you know, uh, and uh, I, I feel good about it. After all the years on TV, Denny says he's racked up more than 160 ties and was actually worried about what to wear for his final sign-off. Usually I just, well, this looks kind of color coordinated and this right. looks fine. Right. And sometimes my wife will say, uh, not that tie. Denny's special touch was never a show on air or off. I actually planned today's wardrobe. Very nice, very nice. Which is unusual. You gotta take some uh, pointers I know, there, Zander. I know, Well, hopefully now that he's retired, he can give me a few ties. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> there you go. And a few pointers. Exactly. No, 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 no. For anyone meeting Denny for the first time, it was like old times. People always say that we come into their living rooms, and right. we do. But this is my living room. Denny inviting me on set, willing to answer questions from our Facebook wonderful, viewers. Wonderful Justin Bartz was curious if uh, you always wanted to be a reporter. What did you want to be when you, when you were younger? When I was a, a young kid, uh, my mother would tell stories that I would pick up sticks off the ground uh -huh. and pretend to be a newscaster talking into microphones. Well, those were nothing but twigs. Do you understand how much, uh, Scott Burns is asking, how much you have affected people's lives over the years? I guess it's uh, it's hard when I come to work feeling just like a normal person. I don't mm -hmm. feel like I'm anything special. Alex asks, uh, is this mustache really yours, or do you have to return it to uh, Harvard Broadcasting? <laughs> no, the mustache <laughs> is really mine. Uh, I, actually, I grew it in about 1972, 73 for the first time. And as for moving plans, nah, he's just ready for vacations. Phoenix yeah, Phoenix reason. sounds good. Yeah, Phoenix, Yuma, that sounds good. Florida sounds good. He's a respected newsman, a signature in the Northland, and a a man who truly has the final good night for us all tonight. Good night, everybody, and be kind.